Hey Canucks fans, and welcome to Clay's Canucks Commentary. I'm back after a week away traveling up north. I know you missed me. While I was away, the Canucks dropped decisions at home to both the St. Louis Blues and the Edmonton Oilers. The Oilers? Anyone but the Oilers. So heading into the game against Alex Ovechkin and the Washington Capitals, I predicted a couple things. I predicted that the Canucks would get their first home win of the season. And I also predicted a big night for the reunited line of Daniel, Henrik, and Redeem Verbata. Well, I went one for two. Sadly, the Canucks are still looking for their first home ice win as they dropped a 3-2 decision to the Capitals. Verbata bumped his scoring slump and potted his first goal of this NHL season. He also got an assist. Daniel got an assist and Henrik got a goal and an assist, so that line combined for five points for the night. Unfortunately, only one other Canuck player recorded a point, and that would be Alex Edler with an assist. Right now, it looks like the Canucks have all of their scoring eggs in one basket with Verrata and the Twins. Coach Willie D continued his trend of shortening the bench in the third period, and thus Brandon Prust and Derek Dorsett became second line players surrounding Bo Horvat for the third period, while Berchi, McCann, and Vertanen all sat. Something's gotta give soon, especially if they want to give McCann and Vertanen a fair shot of making this club over the next few weeks. Eight minutes of ice time just isn't going to do it. As for the Capitals, the player that did the most damage was actually Jay Beagle. He had an assist in the first period to give the Capitals the lead, and then a fluky goal in the second period to tie the game up. It set the stage for Ovechkin's game-winning goal, a one-timer from the slot with just under five minutes to play. It's not good at all that the Canucks relinquished a third period lead, especially on home ice. And I'm not sure why Willie D messed with his lines and shortened the bench. They seem to be doing fine. In fact, it was the makeshift second line of Dorset, Prust, and Horvat, well, along with Edler and Tanev, that were on the ice for that winning goal. Let's get to Canucks in a word where I asked you to describe the Canucks or the Canucks game in just one word. Depressing. <laughs> Choke. Deflections. I want to highlight this one for a couple reasons. First, the Capitals second and third goals both had some sort of deflections as part of the play. And congrats, Jovan, for your first submission that wasn't Miller time. Home ice. Actually, I think that's two words. Limp. Biscuit. Oh, I get it. Limp biscuit. Well fought. Zzzz. Confused. What? Whoops. Thud. This coaching is real bad. Good try, Chaz, in sneaking in five words. Organ lacking. Very good, SFU hockey. Your music's coming soon, I promise. Next up for the Canucks, the Detroit Red Wings this Saturday. Yet another chance for Vancouver to get their first home win of the season. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Canuck Clay and subscribe to this YouTube channel. God bless and go Canucks go.